Over the last year, we have looked at a variety of conspiracy theories. From space deniers, to evolution doubters, to hollow earth people, and even the mud flood investigators. So to wrap this year up on today, New Year's Eve, the last day of the year, I thought we'd take a look at one of the most prolific conspiracy theorists on the internet, Hans. <laughs> Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Tin Fall Tuesday with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me on what is the last video of the year. Yes, without a doubt, one of the biggest conspiracy theorists we've looked at this year is Hans. He had a variety of conspiracies by Hans channels, which have since all been deleted. His new channel, Hans Wormhat, is an absolute treasure trove of conspiracy fun. From stuff like Zebras are nothing but stripy horses, galactic images are fake and gay, and even people who aren't actually people. Today we're going to take a look at his theory that people don't actually climb Mount Everest, and that in the whole of history, no one ever has. Let's take a look at his reasoning for this, and then respond. Hans Wormhat, this is a hoax I haven't talked about in a long time. So there's actually a hoax that you haven't covered in a while. I am surprised. People don't really climb Mount Everest. Well, that didn't take long, did it? Seven seconds to be precise. You can say what you want about Hans, but at least he gets to the point quickly. They don't. They lie about it. I'm sure he has tons of evidence for this. Let's find out, shall we? And it's actually a really, really recent lie. People, even I, thought that this would have been something that they claim happened in the 1800s. No, 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 this is really recent that they claim this happened. From Reddit. That's well of accurate information. 1953, Edmund Hillary, or Hillary Edmund. He simply cannot help but slip that transvestite dig in, can he? And Tenzig Norgay were the first human beings to ever reach the summit of Mount Everest. This is the only proof. It is a photo that Hillary took of Norgay with his axe. Norgay offered to take one of Hillary, but he declined. They stayed at the summit for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, they got their 15 minutes of fame. Do you notice anything wrong with this photo? Nope. Clean. Why are so clean? You're telling me that somebody made it all the way to the top of Mount Everest? and they don't have a speck of snow on them. No frost, it's just a staged photo. They, they do this foreground, background thing all the time. You're looking at some mocked up fake summit on the bottom with the actor, and then they just put a large panoramic mountain range photograph in the background. Two photos combined. Right. Well, if your evidence is because the person in the photo has got no snow on them, then I'm not sure we're going to buy that. The sky is blue. It obviously wasn't snowing, so why would they have snow on them? And they make sure their symbolism gets in there. There's a perfect triangle right here for the pyramid. But look how clean, so clean. And it doesn't even look that well insulated. Right. It doesn't look insulated, so it's not. Tell me, does a thermos flask look insulated? And it's just fake. You're, everything that you get presented is fake. They want you to think that they've been to the bottom of the ocean. They've, they want you to think that they've already climbed the top of the mountain. Not only that, that they've climbed to the, the tallest mountain. They want you to think that a million people do it. Well, actually, it's just over 4,000 people that have done it climb to the very top. Which reminds me, what about all of their photos? Fake as well, I guess. Oh, it's super common. They, it's, same, it's the same thing with all everything. Their MO, it transcends all aspects of society. Uh, this reminds me of free, people that claim to be these amazing free climbers. Oh, I free climbed El Capitan. You watch a documentary, it's just a bunch of emotional garbage. That is actually an excellent documentary. Check it out on Netflix, it's called The Dawn Wall. And quick cinematic clips. They never show you start to finish somebody free climbing El Capitan. 
you get a really emotional story and you get some clips here and there and it's because it's just fake you're living in a fake reality masons love selling you a story telling big tales free martins will lie to you about the size of a fish they caught what do you think is stopping people from outrageous claims like this oh i'm the first one to climb up mount everest i don't have a speck of snow on me <laughs> sorry uh your logic is just amusing to me i think i explained that enough you can tell it's an old photo because there are not an a lot of people lined up for a shot. That's a lie that they tell you. Oh, there's so many people climbing up Mount Everest. It's just a continuation of this lie. They just want you to think that it's a common thing. Do you know anybody that claims to go up to Mount Everest? No, I don't. But if 4,000 people have climbed, and some of which are no longer with us, then the chances of knowing someone that has climbed Mount Everest to the very top is around 1 in 1.7 million. Only really rich trannies. The only ones that I know are like dentists, where they have a photo, they get a photo, like a plaque on the wall. Went to base camp. The base camp and the peak are two very different things. The base camp is at 5,380 meters above sea level. The peak over 8,800 meters. 30,000 people per year go to the base camp. And as I said before, only 4,000 have ever made it to the summit. And they probably just, they're, they're telling you a story. When they probably climb to a certain point and then the Sherpas just say, okay, well, this is as far as we go and we're gonna turn around now. And the people, um, I mean, if they even make it that far, it's probably really, really hard to do this stuff. So most people, most people probably get to base camp and they're like, oh, you know, that's good, I'm good. I imagine that is true. Most people do do that. But the ones that really think it's real and they go up, there probably just becomes a point where they're like, yeah, you made it to the point. We don't go farther than this. If you go farther than this, you're going to die. Which brings me to a poignant point. 300 people have died trying to make it to the summit. And you disrespect every single one of those with this ridiculous theory. And yeah, nobody really climbs Mount Everest. It's like... They've now invested $50,000 to go to Mount Everest and do the climb. They actually made it to the point where they're not going to go any further. And okay, now they get illuminated with the secret. Or maybe they already knew. And they knew it's just they go there for a photo op. And then uh, they, yeah, part of, the, part of the deal is you get to take fake summit photos. I'm sure that there's a studio somewhere near Everest where they have a fake little crag where you can stand and do something like this. And your evidence for said studio? As I thought. If, if there really were tons of people lining up at the top, there would be tons of footage out there of the top of Mount Everest. Look for GoPro footage of Mount Everest and you'll see that it's few and far between and it's very dodgy. It's, you can tell that the background is like flat. It's just a green screen. Here is a lovely one of a man who made it to the summit. You can see just how hard it is. And here is his final photo. And CGI. But if there really were droves of people climbing Mount Everest, we would have so much footage, GoPro footage, tons of it, but it doesn't exist. There is plenty. And as I said, it's only 4,000 people. And then whatever, the, this is always, oh, this isn't the only proof. There are 400 other team members. Okay, whatever, Masons. They're, they try to pretend like all of their stuff is so true. You, you can't possibly deny this stuff. Even though if you just look at the photograph, there's no snow. There is no snow on the people. It's BS. Uh, it just... I picked these because they love arguing over the minutia. Well, who got to the top first? Was it this guy? Was it that guy? Was, was this person humble about it? Or, or were they actually not humble? It was just that this other person didn't know how to use a camera. Do you see how they talk up all, all these minor details rather than just sitting back and saying it's bullshit, somebody's hoaxing you? That's because they are normal, logical thinking people. They didn't really climb the mountain. Talking about the coats. 
back when you actually had to climb the mountain yourself rather than being carried up on a do people really think that they can carry you up mount everest no it's you pay a bunch of money and they take you on a tour you eventually get to a point and you just stop they can't they're not going to drag you up mount everest no they probably aren't because in order for you to be allowed to climb mount everest by the nepalese government you are required to have already climbed a mountain that is over 6,500 meters, a certificate of good health and physical fitness, and be accompanied by a Nepalese trained guide. Do people really believe this? If, if it really was a really easily obtainable thing, we all would know somebody who has been up there. It's not easy. It's bloody difficult, which is why only 4,000 people have made it in the last 66 years. The only people that claim to go to Mount Everest, they're all obviously highly illuminated individuals and tranny face, all that stuff, and they're liars. Yeah, all that stuff. They're all in the same bracket, aren't they? Ridiculous again from Hans today. Personal incredulity in overdrive. Hans clearly doesn't understand how difficult it really is to climb Mount Everest. And as I said earlier, shows immense disrespect to those that have died trying to do it. Right. That brings the final Tim Fall Tuesday and final video of the year to a close. I do hope you enjoyed it, I really do. 2020 will hopefully bring you more of the same and something new. Remember, the third release day starts from March 2020. I have been Simon Dan, have yourselves a fantastic New Year's and I'll see you all on Friday where we take a look at the final image that is Antonio Subarat's flat earth map. See you then.